What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Crypto Hangout. This is uh, Crypto Crane, and I wanted us to uh, <coughs> grab a video of uh, Coin Hunter that I wanted to do today. Uh, I wanted to uh, bring to you guys IOTA. For those who haven't heard of it or not familiar, it is an ISO 2022 coin. It is a coin you need to have in your portfolio. I have it in mine. Uh, every dent uh, that happens, every chance that I get, I inquire some more. So we're just going to talk a little bit about it, go over it. Uh, brief, uh, and then um, you guys can delve uh, deeper into the white paper by going to the white to the uh, website. So, what is IOTA? All right, IOTA is a token that is a powerful tool for value transfer among humans and machines. Right, so uh, a new token for a new economy. The IOTA Foundation created the IOTA token to solve the real world challenge. How do you allow humans and devices to exchange data and services in the future economy? Fair distribution. Uh, with this goal's vision, it was important for the IOTA token to be created fairly. There was no locked tokens, no early corporate investors, no tokens were awarded to founders. Um, they have reasonable funding. Roughly 500,000 was raised uh, from a crowdfund in 2015 to ensure the sustainability of the project. 5% of tokens are donated by the community who support the foundation. So they have a nonprofit foundation, the IOTA uh, Foundation. Um, this is the IOTA token more trust and value. It ensures we can achieve our vision of creating an open source standardized protocol for the world to use. And it's designed for the long haul. Uh, IOTA token is a powerful digital asset. There are no miners, no stakers. This means value and data can be transact transacted without fees, enabling a variety of use cases no other digital asset can. So you can click here to discover the application. So let's see what the app industry applications are. So, uh, let's see here. They have mobility and automotive. So, let's check that out. So, it's harnessing the power of connected mobility. The amount of data and financial transactions that will be produced by connected mobility devices is staggering. How do you securely collect, evaluate, and use this information to benefit people, cities, manufacturers, and mobility providers is a critical question in the industry today. All right. So, what they have, too, um, we'll get into that, but. Uh, about the wallets that um, they have actual wallets that, that are um, that can be you know I guess custody in your car so we'll get into that uh, with IOTA data and financial transactions generated by create uh, connected mobility it can be processed securely privately and without additional transaction fees All right, about uh, mobility and, and automotive so new innovations traditional business models in the mobility space are being challenged on a daily basis while technical, technological breakthroughs are enabled vehicles to be connected, electronic, and increasingly autonomous, many new players are entering the market and industry business models need to change accordingly. So they want to bring digital platforms to the, to the uh, cars as well. Cars are turning to digital platforms. They will be able to pay autonomously for parking, charging for their batteries, tolls, and other services. But cars will also be able to make money by selling the data they generate or the power stored in their batteries through periods of high uh, energy demand. And this is big because you'll be able to, um, you know, say if your car starts messing up and you'll have that data and you can sell that data back to the car manufacturers and then they can, you know, um, make adjustments accordingly on the next model. So that that's big. So like I said here, cars will be able to make money by selling the data they generate or the power stored in the battery right, doing it. So, you know. They plan on, uh, you know, adding the wallet to make it beneficial to where we, you can pay for tolls automatically, charging the batteries, I guess, in the Teslas, and pay for the parking. So, uh, secure machine connectivity. IOTA enables peer-to-peer -peer data and financial transactions without central intermediaries. IOTA makes it possible to build tools and applications for simple communication and payments between vehicles and the intermediate connected environments. And so, what is the business application that they have for this? Uh, okay, so we want to get into that digital what they call digital twins. IOTA makes the vehicle's entire life cycle transparent by tracking everything that happens to the vehicle on that tan tangible on the tangible which is like their uh, blockchain um, uh, tracker which is like a black blockchain skin in a record called a digital twin. Tracking the usage and ownership of a vehicle enables fraud prevention, pay, uh, pay per use and usage based insurances among other applications. That could probably be good or bad, um, you know, depending on the insurance of which, you know, the company. So I, I don't know about that. That could, you know, go either way. 
So they have electric mobility and renewable energy. With renewable uh, energies becoming the new standard, electric vehicles will be able to earn money by participating in peer-to-peer -peer energy trading, helping to stabilize energy grids around the world, giving uh, ever-growing demands. Connected infrastructure, worldwide investment is connected mobility. Infrastructure is increasing due to proven financial and safety benefits. In this dynamic, connected world, vehicles, traffic lights, and related infrastructures will need to securely communicate and exchange payments during instantaneously. So what is the real world mobility implementation? So car wallets with Jaguar, Land Rover, and IOTA. So okay, so they are, I have already instituted this with Jaguar and with Land Rover. So all, well, both of those cars that are coming out will have the IOTA wallet on there. You'll be able to do that. <coughs> you know, pay for parking, etc. with your crypto on there. Cars with built-in wallets that enable them to make both and make bank and receive payments may sound like technology in the future, but it already exists. Uh, Jaguar Land Rover has implemented an IOTA wallet in their high-paced vehicles, enabling them to receive payments for selling data as well as make payments for things like parking and tolls. So let's see the little video real quick. Smart charging with IOTA. Uh, an annoying problem with electric vehicles is the need to have multiple memberships in different charging networks and then paying for each at the end of the month. Uh, ELAT NL has uh, solved this problem by creating an IOTA enabled smart charger. You simply plug the charging cable into the vehicle and charging and payment happen automatically. Wow. Okay. So that's what they have going on, and this is why I'm definitely bullish on this right here, right? So they have, this is the mobility. So now let's look at the industrial IoT, Internet of Things, and whatnot. So what technology do they have there? Uh, let's see here. Automation and economy of things. So IOTA is uniquely suited for Industry 4.0, a platform for trusted exchange of data and secure exchange for value with low resource requirements and no fees. The principles of full transparency and permissionless innovation IOTA forms the open and neutral base for organizations interested in Industry 4.0 uh, to build upon. So I guess that's machines uh, replacing needs or whatnot as far as the workforce. Uh, the Tangi EE Working Group is a meeting place for industry experts, academics, enterprises, and standardization bodies to innovate with IOTA technologies governed by the Eclipse Foundation. Decentralized marketplace are a major focus on Tangi with leading organizations working together to provide thought leadership and develop tools to easily deploy and participate in decentralized marketplace. All right, so that's what that is. The digital ID. I'm not a real big fan of digital ID, um, but it's coming anyway, regardless of whether we want to do it or not. Uh, IOTA builds brands on the W3C proposed standards for a digital identity framework. The framework includes three roles, holders, Holders are the owners of digital identities. They have ultimate control over their data and choose how much and with whom they share their data with. Issuers, issuers are trusted third parties or authorities that generated issue credentials for holders, such as health records or identity documents. And verifiers are third parties that need to verify the authenticity of a holder's data. A verifier might, for example, need to validate that the holder is who they say they are. So they have the DID decentralized identifiers. Uh, serve as a reference to a DID document. This document contains data such as public keys, enabling the holder to prove ownership over their personal data. Verifiable credentials are statements about the holder that can be verified online or in person, and the holder decides who to share them with. That's why I'm not really just big on that, man. You know, because I have verifiers, you have all sorts of kind of crap, and, you know, issuers, third party issuers. Uh, and this is what they call I IoT, the in, uh, identity of things. Devices have an identity that proves their capabilities, specifications, and authenticity to allow users to feel confident in transacting with them. Individuals have a borderless digital identity that can be verified by anyone or anything in the world. Organizations can use digital identity to follow regulations such as GP GDPR in a more cost efficient way. Click here, you read the paper for a case for a unified identity, etc. So let's go to the smart city. So a human-centered design, city infrastructure can provide endless amounts of data and insight. The solutions leveraging that data need to benefit the people living in the city. Uh, IOTA 
open the city data silo, giving visibility to residents over how the city is working to improve the quality of life. So by 2050, 66% of the world's population will live in cities. 1.3 million people move into cities every day, and the world's building stock is expected to double by 2060. What is a smart city? It's an urban area that incorporates information and communication technologies into the system. Sensors gather to data to inform authorities and residents, reducing waste and making resource consumption more efficient. The Internet of Things changes the way citizens, communities, and cities and nations connect, interact, and exchange data. From data privacy and ownership to P2P energy and integrated transportation, from predictive maintenance and uh, addictive manufacturing to e-health and e-governance. IOTA's distributed ledger technology enables permissionless innovation and open data. IOTA is already being used in smart city environments. Um, it says, you know, so <coughs> you, can, you can go ahead and read this. I'm going to go into all of this right here. But you can go into this right here. And I'll read the rest of it. So, supply chain in, in e health. You guys can read the rest of that. Uh, just go to the website on iota.org. You can read the rest of that. Alright, so what is the price of iota coin? Let's see here. Let's pull it up. Let's see the tripping. I don't think I'm buying anything right now. So, um, this is one I'm stacking up, and like I said, it's the ISO 2020 coin. So, this is one of the ones that I will be stacking up with all of you guys. If you made it this far to the video, I appreciate you guys for watching the whole entire video. And uh, as you can see, yeah, the price of the coin is 33 cents. And, uh, so, I will be stacking up a lot of this right here. So, that'll be all for the, for the uh, coin hunters video. Uh, if you like the content that I provide for you, please like. And uh, hit the like or dislike uh, button. Uh, help with the YouTube algorithm if you're trying to build the channel. And uh, let me know what you what you guys think below. Comment below. Interest interested in your guys' thoughts and what you guys think about uh, this iota coin. Uh, is it something that you're invested in? Uh, being that it's the ISO 2020 coin, do you think that it will be one of the ones to grow and make bull run uh, or whatever they implement the new financial system? All right. Until the next video, this is Crypto Crane. Uh, signing out for Coin Hunters. Peace.